Mai comisia Pardan Pola Roi Pardan Sal Pardan Это не Ladies and gentlemen, uh, it's a pleasure to be here today. I want to have an open, direct talk with you. Uh, handing over of the tractor is just one item, but I'm here to have a direct talk with you. All of you must have heard me on radio, seen me on TV, read about my statements about agriculture in paper. For far too long, we have treated agriculture as a social welfare ministry. I want to make it very clear. Agriculture no longer will be a social welfare ministry. We have to turn around and treat agriculture as Fiji's economic backbone. I want agriculture to be a strong economic sector. And for those of you who want to do leisure farming, part-time farming, pastime farming, hobby farming, you can't be part of the agriculture journey that we have started now. We will not bother you, you don't bother us. You relax, you have a free old property. You can grow whatever you want, you can you know, have raise whatever number of goats or duck or chicken you want to, that's perfectly fine. We want to grow agriculture at commercial level. And assistance for agriculture from now onwards would be based on entrepreneurship ability. Please, big care care to you that we cannot pour money on farmers who are doing small, small, small-scale agriculture for part-time subsistence. This sector has to change its course and direction to be the economic sector that it once used to be. We need full-time, able-bodied farmers who will treat this agriculture as a commercial activity and treat themselves as an entrepreneur, as an agriculture business person, businessman, businesswoman. And they will be given leverage. This is the package we have. And we want 477 acres of land to be under agriculture within 12 months period. Now, if it doesn't, we will be totally withdrawing from this area. And I mean it, and it's a clear direction that I've given to our ministry, that we cannot, we cannot come and pour money when we don't see response on the ground of commercial funding. We have no qualms with you. 
you have free your land, it's your land, you want to grow some duck, raise some ducks, some chicken, some goat, some sheep for your consumption. And during Christmas time, uh, during New Year's weekend, your sons and daughters, your son-in-law, daughter-in-law will come, you want to look after them. They provide you with some source of income. Remittance is coming from Australia and New Zealand. That's okay, you can live that life. But we cannot pour money on that particular area, that particular you know, group of farmers. We are now going big time into growing agriculture as a commercial activity. It's not a social welfare ministry. We will not be pouring in money. So just someone today texted me from Sabu uh, Sabu to Urara said that, you know, we are not getting subsidies. I said, well, get subsidy out of your mind, please. That era is gone. No more subsidy. And I'm going to talk to you tomorrow, I told that person. That mentality is there, subsidy, grant. Where is the nearest shop? Oh, where is the shop here? Yeah, yeah. Whose shop is that? Uh, Narin. 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 Yeah, who, who, who built that shop? Subcontractors? Who paid that contractor? Narin. Narin. Did the uh, DO or Commissioner's Office give any money to Narin for the shop construction? No. Did Commissioner's Office or Government give any money to buy rice and dal that they are selling in the shop? No. It's their business. I want you to treat your farm as a business. We're not going to come and pick up your operating expense. Your farm has to be a business. If you pick up your operating expense, then we have to share your revenue. You don't want to share your revenue with us. Understand? Yes or no? Yes. We will pick up the capital cost. This is what we will do. We will do all your farm road. We will do all your drainage. We are supporting you with mechanical works on your farm. And buy all your products. And this is the products that we want you to grow. Cassava. Here's an AMA rep here, Agri Agro Marketing Authority, Raj. We'll buy cassava, all your cassava. Plant cassava. We'll buy all yellow dalo. Plant dalo. Buy Uruni Bonu, pepper dalo. Yams, Dalonitada, Yangona, Coconut. We will buy all from Farm Gate. You don't have to come to Lamasa town with your Dalo, cassava, hire a van, etc. We'll pick it up from here. We will organize where you start growing, show us the output. We'll tell you where we'll come, what day every week. Cassava, you have to have us the same day. You know, you can't have us one day before. So we'll give you a clear time and schedule. Don't go for, look for market. We'll bring the market here. Your main worry is market. Yes or no? Where? We will, we'll buy it here. And later on, we'll expand this list. We'll expand this list later on. But at the moment, this is what we buy, uh, grow. We will buy all. And rice. I was talking to agriculture officer here. I said, look, we're happy to give you the new, two new variety seeds we have, but you need to sign off that you'll plant at least two crops per year. Two crop, not one crop, and then I'll wait for next year. No, this is normal rain fed rice, broadcasted, bryland, upland, not, it's not, uh, you know, where you, uh, you know, create, uh, you know, you're, it's not irrigated rice. High yielding rice <coughs> can grow year round. We will buy all rice. We're giving a reasonably good price. You can keep whatever you want for your home consumption, the rest sell it for market. We will get the harvester here to harvest all the rice. You don't have to worry about the harvesting. Now you have to do your part as a farmer. We want agriculture to grow at commercial level. We will buy all your product, the ones I've listed. If you plant some head cabbage, some tomato, some, you know, then it's okay, you find your own market. Find your own market. You can see, if you want to do farming, 
of your, of, at your own convenience, own choice, then don't come to us. I want to be very clear. This is a totally new era. I don't want to be, uh, you know, come and say all the good things that you want to hear. I know what you want to hear. <coughs> no. This is a different time. Our economy is going through a very difficult phase. And this is the sector that can turn the economy around. Not tourism, very volatile, not remittances. Because both of those two sectors are not in our control. This sector is in our control. And we cannot afford to, you know, pour in taxpayers' money on hobby farming. No more hobby farming. Government will not treat this sector as a social welfare sector. This is an economic sector, and I want you all to get in our, in our boat, in this journey, to develop commercial agriculture led by agricultural entrepreneurs. Gone are those days where you'll do family farming, you know, and you know, we have family farms that cannot, cannot really prop up agriculture to the level that where we want. So I'm looking forward to working with you. If we don't see any output within 12 months uh, period of time, I want the 477 acres of land under agriculture, we can get minimum of $1 million worth of output. Minimum $1 million. We've done our own number crunching. Right. Yangona, cassava, rice, three big crops. Go for it. Don't worry about the market. Guaranteed market. We will come. You can write it down somewhere. We'll come. We're getting the schedules out. That's why I've got IMA here. There are exporters as well. I'm talking to the exporters. They're scared now. They're scared because we're talking big time now. We're talking volumes. They're going to come. And we will buy a lot of other products because we will export them. Frozen most likely from here. We will not let distance and isolation, because this is an island out of the main market, be an obstacle to growing agriculture in the Northern Division. We will go big time into livestock as well. Again, we will talk about livestock in another uh, meeting. At the moment, I want this area to be under crop. And these are the crops that I've read out, cassava, dalo, yangona, rice, go into, big time into this. This is where, Net return is very high. Rice, the variety that we gave you, if you do around 1.4 tons per acre, in one acre, two crops, you'll make $1,600 net per year. Which crop will give you? I'm not talking, the potential is to have about two tons per acre. Per acre, potential. For that new, two new varieties. But if you do two crops in one year, can get $1,600 net per acre. Talk about net income, not of gross income, net income. Now imagine you have got 20 acres, or 30 acres, or 40 acres, what your income will be. Now, you can have land. If that land generate, doesn't generate value, then it's a dead capital. A capital is only a capital as long as it generates positive return. And we want the land that you have to be put under agriculture because that's in national interest. In national interest, we need to get our national capital under production. We cannot, we cannot afford to have vacant lands lying around when we are wanting to grow agriculture. We don't want to go into an era where we tax vacant agriculture land. I want you to get your land under agriculture. We are here to support you. We want to um, you know, uh, you know, get here and get this 477 acres of land in 12 months time. Then only we'll say that that particular assistance that we are providing you is put to good use. No use parking the tractor nicely, you know, wash it like, you know, a lot of school teachers do, they buy a car, they live in the quarters, they wash it two times a week, pack it in the garage, every day they get out, they look at it before they go to school. No, 
tractor, it needs to be on the field, utilize it, get this area under agriculture. For too long, cooperatives haven't really lived up to the expectation. They have failed. How many cooperatives in Fiji have succeeded? Really? If I you know, check the books, I'll tell you. They haven't got the output out of the amount of land you have under. Okay, the entire cocoa thing failed. So look, we don't want to get into the history of this. But we are here to tell you, this is the message. Tractor handover is part of it. The message is, you want government support? Come, grow agriculture with us. You want to want to treat agriculture as a social welfare ministry? It's okay, no, say no, out. You can't. You relax, you know, enjoy. Okay, thank you. I am Dharam Raj, 60 years old. Oh, we are pura whole member. We are a committee member. We are very happy with the farmers. We are very happy with the farmers. We are very happy with the farmers. धान बोने बोवे के पिछड़ जाता था वहाँ अब हम लोग पिछड़ेगा नहीं समय पे खेती हुई हम लोग के और खेती में हम लोग कोशिश करेगा और जस्ती ओ हम लोग तो यहाँ बहुत भारी दुख उठा हुआ टेक्टा नहीं रहा धान नहीं बोए पावा जाता रहा समय पे भाई हम लोग के यहाँ एक केस पानी के के जिसे मुंह है ना समय है और टेक्टा � और एग्रीकल्चर चाहे बहुत जानो मदद करी इस जो हम लोग के संगे ये जो टिकटा दी से एक थेर हम लोग के है दो दो थेर एग्रीकल्चर चाह के है हम लोग के वो विचार है कमेटी वो विचार करी कि हम लोग के संस्था में जब काम हो रहा जाए कोई और मांगी हम लोग लोग के भी देगा हम लोग के वहाँ से बेनिफिट मिली जे घंटा पे और कुछ खरीदे भी सके हम बहुत खुशी है सरकार के ऊपर गवर्नमेंट के ऊपर एग्रीकल्चर के ऊपर संगे कोऑपरेटिव के उस ती और साथ में अपन मेंबर उनके संगे भी मैं बहुत खुशी है